Hi everyone, this is Fahad Mirza and I welcome you to the channel. Whenever Quinn releases something, it stays released. They have just released a new updated version of their Quinn 2.5 vision language model in 3 billion, 7 billion and 70 billion variants with a lot of enhanced features and we are going to install one of those models locally today and we will test it out on various benchmarks. I have been covering these vision models including the previous 2.5 version a lot on the channel so if you are interested in learning more about Quen 2.5 from various angles including fine tuning just go and search my channel you should be able to find heaps of videos around it. Coming back to this uh, newer enhanced versions there are few key features of it total in 5 first and foremost it has got improved ability to recognize and analyze objects, text, charts and layouts within images. It can also act as a visual agent capable of reasoning and dynamically interacting with tools. For example, using a computer or with this 3 billion size you can even put it on your phone. It can understand videos longer than one hour and pinpoint relevant segments for event detection. And that is the main enhancement which I believe is going to change the way we interact with videos or understand videos in AI. It also accurately identifies and localizes objects in images with bounding boxes or points providing stable JSON outputs. It can also generate structured outputs for complex data like invoices, forms and tables useful in domains like finance and commerce and I'm also going to test it out today in real time in front of you to see if that feature or claim is valid or not. So let's get it installed locally and then play around with it. Let me also thank Mast Compute for sponsoring the VM and GPU for this video. If you're looking to rent a GPU on very, very affordable prices, I will drop the link to their website in video's description along with a discount coupon code of 50% on range of GPUs. This is my Ubuntu system and this is my GPU card NVIDIA RTX A6000 with 48 GB of VRAM. Let's start by creating a virtual environment with Conda. And now let me install all the prerequisites which include Torch Transformers and then few other things including Torch Audio. Plus you see that towards the end I'm also installing Quen VL Utilities. So let me run it. It is going to take a couple of minutes. Meanwhile that happens, let me also introduce you to the sponsors of the video who are iGenPod. iGenPod lets you effortlessly deploy a personalized knowledge bot across platforms like Discord, Slack and others. It is ideal for open source tech communities and startups that provide user support and I will drop the link to their website in video's description. Okay, so it is almost there. And now let me launch my Jupyter Notebook. And now let's download the model here. And the model shards are being downloaded, so let's wait. And the model is downloaded. Let's do the inference. So let me paste the code here first. Now in this code, all we are doing, we are giving it the path to a local video and then we are asking it to describe the video and as i said it can deal with more than an hour long video and that is a hallmark of this model and then we are processing it with the text we are getting the input elements for both um, frame by frame we are getting the processor to generate the output and then we are doing inference after the tokenizer has encoded the input we are getting the output back we are decoding it with the help of tokenizer which is embedded in this processor and then we are printing it out one thing i want to tell you is that the code which is present on their hugging face model card which is this uh, doesn't work so i have modified the code here i will also put it in my github so that you can also copy paste otherwise it is going to give you an error i'm also going to make an another video explaining what exactly the issue is with this code anyway so this is a correct code especially here in this line so make sure that you use this if you are trying to process the videos so now let me run this 
and let me play the video which i'm processing so this is a video where i was just doing a podcast last year so i'm just sitting in my room and just speaking in my microphone that's all i'm doing here okay so i'll just go here i'll also show you the vram consumption so it is consuming over 9 gig of vram so for a 3 billion model i think slightly higher but i think for longer video it is okay we can take it if it is processing longer videos let's go down and then there you go it says a man is sitting in front of a microphone speaking into it he is wearing a black jacket and has a beard do i have a beard yes i do okay so it's a stubble but anyway behind him there is a desk with two computer monitors a keyboard and a mouse the room appears to be dimly lit so yeah so i think perfectly well not bad at all okay so in the next test i am going to check out an invoice which is this and this invoice is a proper invoice with all the itemized stuff and i am going to extract the data from invoice in json format because the model card says it can do that in a structured output and that is a big thing because if you have been following my channel you see that um i have been doing videos on few of the tools which we can use to modify the output of llms to get the structured and validated output so this is going to put lot of those companies out of business i'm sorry to say anyway so you saw the invoice i'm giving it the image and then in the prompt i'm asking it to extract the data from this invoice in json format and the rest of the inference is same so let's run it it is running let's wait for it i think vram consumption should be the same yeah same similar sort of stuff is happening okay so it is still running it is extracting the data i believe i'll also put the invoice here so that we could um compare taking bit of a time oh wow that is fantastic you can see that it has started with json and then in our typical json style the key values are there and then braces are there so it has the good thing is that you see that it has structured it quite well so because the logo is at the top and then it is doing that embedding of invoice within the invoice it has it has date and all that stuff and then another nested element where we have this product total items and all that stuff and then everything is put it in the list so i would say again it has passed this with flying colors spot on answer i would say though i already have tested this model in the previous um, version for ocr and it was really really good but let's try out with uh, one more so for this one i'm asking it to extract the text from this image let's run it let's go back there you go fairly quick it says eat more chick so i think it because it is hiding so c h i k it has just put it in k there whereas there is n anyway and then here it says chick fill a which is good so we can of course it's a 3 billion model but few of the models have extracted it but no model so far has extracted this am ar something like that at the very bottom which is i'm not sure if you can see it let me make it bit bigger you see at the bottom here no model has uh, got it right even i can't read it properly but anyway um, still not bad at all i would say it's a multilingual but mainly in chinese and english so that's it let me know what do you think about this the so long video understanding plus the structured output from the images without any other add on is really what makes this model separate out from the other and these are the main enhancement which i think are going to go a long way and remember this is just a 3 billion model we already have 7 billion and we have the 70 billion and i have covered all of them already on the channel so if you're interested check them out if you like the content please consider subscribing to the channel if you are already subscribed please share it among your network as it helps a lot thank you for watching